Howdy viewers, Brad Pride of Barstool Entertainment doing a special video. In this case, it has to deal with your controller not functioning in a game. I have been playing Red Dead Redemption 2 through for the second time, and as of this recording, I've gotten to the epilogue and I'd sent John Marston to meet. Sadie Adler in Valentine. And I checked out a hotel room. I was going to get a good night's sleep, meet up with Sadie, you know, and go on a bounty hunt more than likely. Well, I saved my game. I hit, I turned off the uh, device, the Xbox Series X that I play on, and it has that instant save where. If you somehow your game was interrupted, it would just start right back at that point where you turned off the, you know, the console or whatever. Well, I went to play. I wanted to play some more Red Dead Redemption 2. I had some time. And I figured, okay, I'm going to, you know, meet up with Sadie, play the mission. Game launched, but the controller wasn't responding. I couldn't move John. I couldn't hit a button to do anything except to hit the Xbox button, which would then bring me into settings or whatever. And I looked and I looked online. I rebooted, redid the controller. All the things except uninstall and reinstall the game. Then I thought for a second, this can't be right. Why would I uninstall and reinstall a game? I mean, yeah, the saves aren't a separate folder, but then it occurred to me. This is a glitch in that auto save. So here is what I did, and it worked. What I did is hit the Xbox uh, button, went down to Red Dead Redemption, and then I clicked on it, quit the game. Now, I quit the game, and then I went up to My at Games and Apps and hit See All, went over to Red Dead Redemption 2, clicked on it, and launched the game. Now it went through its whole load phase, and then I'll show you, I'm gonna fast forward through the load phase, and then I'll show you what happened. Okay, now you see John is not where he was. They usually put him somewhere different, but I'm in full control. He's moving around, he's not locked up, the controller is responding. It made no sense to me to uninstall and reinstall the game because the save was glitched. So what I did is, like I said, I quit the game, went back and relaunched it, and it worked perfectly. Made no sense to me to uninstall and reinstall the game because that's all you're going to be doing is referencing your most recent save when you get the game back up. And it's not the game that's glitched, it's the save. And that happens when I turn the console off and then boot it back up and try and start from where I had originally quit. And it's just a glitch. But this worked. It's not guaranteed 100%. But again, it made no sense to me. I just went home, turned off the Red Dead Redemption game, and moved on. As I stated, this is not 100%, but it worked for me. And as I recall, on my first playthrough, I had a similar situation where it locked or wasn't responding to my game controller. The instant uh, save when you turn off the console or there's a power outage or something, that's cool, but it can get glitched. And again, uninstalling and reinstalling your game is a waste of time. Just hit the Xbox One button, 
quit out of your game, go back to your game apps, games and apps, and relaunch your game. Because it'll go back to your most recent save, and it should work perfectly. If you found this video informative, hit the thumbs up button. If, and feel free to leave comments. If you like this type of video, well, hey, I post four video game related videos a week, plus some shorts and specials, and you don't want to miss out. So hit the subscribe button and bell icon, and you will stay informed. Even when I come up with really neat solutions to solve a simple problem. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by. Thank you.